So right now I am joined with Jim Sapko, Community Preservation Officer for the City of Santa Clarita. Uh, Jim, thanks for joining us. What does a Community Preservation Officer do? Well, what our job is, is mainly, as the, as the name implies, is to help preserve the community. Uh, other cities call it code enforcement, but we prefer to call it community preservation because our goal is to help the uh, people in the neighborhoods, residents in the neighborhoods, to be able to maintain and preserve their property. So we deal with, with uh, property owners, residential and commercial and industrial, but mainly uh, our, our main focus is uh, residential property owners because uh, they comprise the, the majority of the property that's in the city. And our goal is to try to encourage people to uh, comply with the municipal code, which is written with the intent that people would uh, maintain their properties, whether it's uh, the paint on their house, whether it's uh, keeping trash, junk, and debris from inside of their yards, whether it's keeping uh, inoperative vehicles from being in public view, those kinds of things. Right. And, you know, uh, right now we are standing at a busy corner. We're actually at McBean and Decoro right now. And behind us is a garage sale sign, which is not an uncommon sight in Santa Clarita. Um, but we've been noticing in the past, um, and you can tell us more about this, that a lot of people forget to take them down or they're, they're kind of turned into a blight after a while. Yeah, that's, that is a, a problem that we have, and it's, it's an ongoing problem because uh, when there's a, a prol proliferation of signs, what you have is uh, it really detracts from the beauty of the, of the, uh, the roadways and the neighborhoods. And uh, it's, in this case, sometimes it's, it can also be a traffic hazard or, or a hazard to public safety because people's attention when they're driving is distracted and they may not see a, a pedestrian. And, uh, but what we want people to know is that uh, when they have yard sales, uh, it really is prohibited to put up a sign, especially on a highway or public right-of-way. And on public poles like this, utility poles, they are prohibited. But if they do put it up, please take it down. That's, what we, that's the message that we want to communicate. Uh, another thing that people are unaware of is that their uh, yard sales are only allowed three times in a calendar year. So you can have three yard sales in one calendar year. And each yard sale is allowed to proceed for three consecutive days. Talk about your philosophy in terms of when you see a violation, what do you guys go through? Well, when we see a violation, typically uh, we are proactive in, uh, in certain areas, but mainly we are reactive. So what reactive means is that we respond to citizen complaints. So when we get a complaint, we will go and, and uh, inspect that property and verify, first of all, if there is a valid complaint or not. So, and that would mean that if there's something that's occurring that's in violation of the municipal code or a zoning code. If we do verify that there's a complaint, our, our next step is to document that and notify the property owner by, via a warning notice that is mailed to their, to their property. And we give them typically 30 days for most violations to respond back to us. Our goal is to establish communication with the property owner so that they, uh, they will then work with us to bring that property back into compliance with whatever that violation is and get that uh, violation abated. There are a couple of areas that where we are being um, proactive, and uh, that's an area like, for, for example, right now we have an area in um, Lower North Oaks where we have uh, done what's called a, an extreme neighborhood makeover. And in that area, we are being, we're looking at every single property within a, a certain radius. And, and what we had done was we had notified all of those residents well ahead of time, several months ahead of time, and let them know that we were going to be proactive in that area, and that is looking at every every person's property to, to determine whether are, there are violations or not. But that is not our typical approach. Throughout most of the city, we are reactive. We respond to citizen complaints. Regarding uh, notifying the city, the, the best way is to go to the city website and go to the uh, e-service, and you, you can find uh, a very easy way to file a complaint if you have a, a problem in your neighborhood. And also, if you have just general questions about uh, what does community preservation do? The best place again is to go to the city website and look under community preservation and there you will find a, uh, a very uh, clear uh, explanation of what we do with community preservation. Jim, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're out there, you're looking to have a garage sale, if you're going to put up signs, please make sure you take them back down and for more information, go to santa-clarita.com.